I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what's going on scorpio so as we approach um oh i got some rubber bands guys i know you don't give a damn but i did um, where did I put them? So yes, oh, yes, there we go. All right, so Scorpios, um, as we approach the the solar eclipse, please don't go outside and look at it, okay? I mean, I'm telling you, and there's, there's no reason for you to listen to this reading. It's tons of readings, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm telling you, you're hearing this, so please don't go out there and go look at it, okay? This is a good time for you to fast. Okay, so don't start now, but like maybe 24 hours before the solar eclipse is a good time for you to fast. Okay, but please don't go look at it. All right, have your kids with you that day. Some schools are being closed. Some other schools are making t-shirts and going out there looking at it. I just think you should have your kids with you that day, you know. I don't know if you could take off work or nothing, you know. Some people are minimizing traffic on the road in some states. So, I don't know. All right, so Scorpios, let's get into it. Oh, also, if you have like a like an evil eye, which is like one of these, or the little eye, you need to have that. Have your kids wear one of those, okay? An evil eye. Okay. All right, so let's get into it, Scorpios. Let's get into this. Let's get in it. All right, let's go. What's brewing? Oh, God damn. Shit. So, Scorpio, they smile in your face. Somebody backstabbed your motherfucking ass, okay? It's deceit. It's treacherous. <laughs> this person is not to be trusted, okay? So, you got a, you got a somebody that's coming towards you that betrayed you, okay? They, they got their eyes locked in on you. I'm not sure why, okay? But this is somebody who backstabbed you pretty bad, okay? Who the hell is this? All right, so somebody who betrayed you is coming towards you, Scorpio. Dang, this one to come out bad, sideways. Ooh, putting them in a place. So somebody who, somebody who backstabbed you is thinking about coming to talk to you, but they scared you gonna light they motherfucking ass on fire. Okay, so I don't know who this is. Okay, so Scorpio, this person betrayed you, tried to chump you off. You know what I'm saying? Try to check your ass in some kind of way. And you like, you know, like, bitch, can you check me? Like, nigga, you lost your mind? Okay, this could be a female. This could be a male. This could be a homegirl. This could be, I don't know who the fuck this is. But this person, this person that betrayed you is heavily trying to get your attention. Okay? But they scared that if they come talk to you, you gonna check their motherfucking ass. All right? Now, whoever this is, they're thinking about taking this check on the chin. I'm not lying to you. Okay? So, whoever this is, they're preparing themselves for a Scorpio bite. And they're they going to take it. This person think about taking this bite because they want your friendship or they want to be around you. But there was some kind of betrayal. So, I don't know. I don't know. And, I mean, y'all could be the same breed. Y'all could be the same friends. Or, you know what I'm saying? Something is going on there because these are two dogs. And they couldn't stop fighting. You know what I'm saying? But the betrayal was real here. Okay? It was, like, a little bit too real. Let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, now. So they saying that this is a betrayal, somebody getting checked and they like they want to get put in a place, but they want to fight for who they love or what they love, okay? So it looked like there was a betrayal, but whatever this is, Scorpio, you were standing standing up for what you want. You were fighting for what you want. And in order for you to do that, you had to kick somebody out of your life, okay? Whoever that is, um, you had to put them in a place. And you thinking about like how you put them in a place. This person is also thinking about if... Um, basically if they'll take this hit 
somebody will take a hit to still be cool, friends, lover, homie, whatever this is, okay? Because they want to fight for you. So this person did betray you, Scorpio, and you chomped them off every single time. Like, bitch, I know you're doing this, or nigga, I know you're doing that, okay? But this person think they love you, and they want to fight for, for you. You know, they, they want to fight for who they love. Um, and, and they just feel like you've walked away from the situation. So whoever this is, after you kick them to the curb, Scorpio, they want to come in swinging for you. They want to be with you. But this person did betray you, bruh. They did. And you had to check them. Like, sometimes people just don't understand how you know stuff, Scorpio. All right? We also got money hungry. So there's some people here that could be chasing you, Scorpio, for clout. They could be chasing you for money. You know, they had to check themselves with that shit, too. Caution. Let's see what the hell it is. So, somebody could have said that you was a gold digger. Or maybe somebody just feel like you got the check, you know. So, they tried to fuck. They tried to run the check up. You know what I'm saying? And they had to check themselves. Caution. You can't run up on no angel. People don't really believe earth angels are real. You know, people don't really, people don't really think that people are real or authentic. But it's not your job to continue to be real as fuck to somebody. When a man is going to invest in you, right? For real, for real. He will ask you what you're doing, how you doing, how stuff going on in your life. Where is it going? Is it going this way? Is it going that way? And he'll invest in you in times that he knows that you just want an investment and he's not getting an investment. If you messing with a dude and every time he invests in you is on his terms and when you're giving him what he need and when he get what he need, he gone, he's not investing in you, Okay. Whoever this is, they betrayed you. This is somebody who like going to the gym or there's somebody here who love going to the gym. And when they go to the gym, more is going on at the gym than letting on. Okay, so somebody screwing somebody at the gym, humping at the gym. I don't know what the hell is going on, but something is going on at the gym more than just working out. Okay, also somebody is getting kicked to the curb and somebody wants to fight for this connection or a relationship. But there's been a big betrayal here. It's been a big betrayal. And this person is scared of you putting them in their place, okay? And somebody could have been going around telling people you was money hungry, all right? But caution, you know, that's just not the case. Caution is here in reverse. Like, you could care, you could care less about somebody's money, okay? Or somebody money so fucked up, you got to be like, caution, back up, beep, 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 empty, empty. I don't know. <laughs> I heard that too, Okay. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if somebody's trying to get you for some money. Yeah, somebody is somebody's worst nightmare. So let me tell you what this card means to me. This means this person crazy. You know how sometimes people are like, oh, you know, they're obsessive. They're obsessive about certain things and topics that just don't fucking make sense, you know? Um, I don't know. People, I don't know. But this person is like that. With nightmare, they could hide it behind something, you know, like faith, religion, spirituality you know all of that all right but this person is crazy okay and they're obsessed about getting somebody kicked out of something but somebody constantly stands up for someone and they're guarded around somebody and somebody's very much money hungry in some kind of way and with money hungry here i don't really feel like it's the gold digger energy you know what i mean i really feel like people this person wants to know about different various topics when it comes to money and they're learning, but they're trying to share what they learn, but they don't really even know what they're learning. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they're hungry to to be seen as someone who is in this caliber of group of, of knowing about finances, but they really don't know what's going on and they're lost. You know, this could be somebody who's trying to mimic someone, which is crazy, bro. You can't be doing shit like that, bro. We, everybody got what they bring to the table. You could be good in another revenue. You know, I don't really think this is you, Scorpio. That's why these cards are upside down at the bottom like this. Damn, shuffle the shit and the bitch came out anyway, all right? So somebody just feels like uh, you're not manipulative. You're not controlling. You know, you don't play a lot of games. Somebody could be realizing that at a very late time here, Scorpio. But somebody is also thinking about the gym and what they do at the gym and the things that happen at the gym and how there was so much betrayal, Okay. I need to see something, though. What's up with this gym shit? Hold on. Ugh. Where's the kipper, guys? I'm so glad that I got um, rubber bands. I was like, I'm not going to forget these rubber bands. There's an addiction here. So somebody is addicted to something. They're very codependent on somebody's energy. 
but there's no love in this situation it's kind of like a win situation but somebody does want longevity though all right so it's kind of like you might have been smashing somebody just to conquer them for a body but somebody else really thought that this was going to lead to an engagement all right but somebody's in a secret competition with you scorpio but they feel like they're not enough to be in competition with you okay um they also feel like your person uh, feels like they're running out of time with you but they really love you and they feel like there's some kind of seduction here so somebody feels like you could be sedu sed seducing them and then we have the chaser codependent all right so i think yeah so somebody's codependent on somebody's relationship they have abandonment issues somebody doesn't want to lose at any kind of cost all right so somebody doesn't want their person to leave but somebody is realizing that somebody is very manipulative and somebody else is very hands off just don't care <laughs> i don't know what that is but yeah i bought a new candle y'all it smells so good in here i love candles a lot and um it just smells great in here it's just like ah oh, candle all right scorpios um let's let's see what your takeaway is this reading was kind of crazy y'all y'all gotta tell me in the comments I, I don't even know. And it's like somebody is thinking about wanting to be friends, even though they did some shit that was fucked up. Betrayal is like right there. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a two-headed snake, but still, can we be cool? Like, I don't know, Scorpio. Let me know if you're going to be cool or not. Check box yes or no, you know? <laughs> What's the takeaway for Scorpio? Damn, that's a lot. All right. So ask yourself, is it worth the fucking effort? So yeah, some of y'all is like, is it worth the fucking effort to talk to this person, chill with this person, hang with the person? Like, is it really worth it? Because if it's not, I guess you should just keep the, the, the you know, the beef off the table. But just know, like, I don't fuck with you like that. Yeah, okay? Life isn't fucking fair, but you're awesome. So, you know, life ain't gonna be that y'all gonna be cool again. But you're still a good person. You can be a good friend to somebody else, just not Scorpio no more. And happy fucking things are coming your way. So, I guess if you keep this door closed, yeah, you got some great shit coming. So, don't, don't open it back up, Scorpio. All right? um i got real friend vibes on this read all right this could be homeboys you could be like yeah i did miss how we used to hang and kick it but i'm kind of good without you you know what i'm saying this person could be very obnoxious too way too involved sometimes you could have been on the phone with this person didn't even want to be on the phone with them like damn why answer you know halfway through maybe even four minutes maybe even less some of y'all got 30 seconds you like damn i gotta go all right so i love you guys i'll see y'all later bye